Hello and welcome to another video by The Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, I will be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up WebCore within SmartThings to control a smart light switch based on the time of day. For me, this project will be to turn on my outside lights an hour after sunset, as well as turn off at a specific time. This allows for my front lights to go on when I need them without me ever having to adjust some timer within my house that will have to get changed based on when the sunset happens. If you are looking for instructions on how to install a smart switch in your home, check out the link in the description below as well as check out the eye at the top of the screen for an in-depth tutorial. For this project, we will be working solely in the WebCore dashboard. This can be accessed either via the SmartThings app or a browser like I am currently. The steps themselves, while may seem like a lot, are not that difficult and I am confident that if you follow the directions in this video, you will be able to get through everything. And if you do run into issues, make sure to reach out to me in the comments below so that I can try to assist you as best as I can. Okay, so the first thing you will do is click on New Piston which is on the top left of the screen. This will open a new dialog box where you will fill in a name for the author of the piston and the name of the piston itself. You can also enable automatic backup of your piston if you want. Once you click Create, you will be brought to the Piston Editing Tool. This is going to be where all of your automation magic happens. To get started, you will click on Add a New Statement under the Execution command. This will open a new box that lets you add a few different types of statements. For this project, we will be clicking on Add an If. Once the Add an If box opens, we will select Add a Condition to add a single condition for this if statement. This will open the next box, which is where we will configure our if condition of an hour after sunset. To do this, click on the blue box under what to compare and select virtual device. This will change the drop down box next to it. So select it and then select time at the bottom of the list. Next we will pick what type of comparison to use. For this piston, select is between. Under between, click the blue drop down and select variable. Next to variable, click the gray drop down menu and click on the variable date time dollar sign sunset. After that, you will add the amount of time to offset. Adding a positive number will increase the time past the sunset. So if the sunset is 7 p.m. and you offset at one hour, the condition would not occur until 8 p.m. Likewise, if you use a negative number, it would decrease the time before the sunset. So a negative one offset would make the condition occur at 6 p.m. Under the offset will be the second part of your is in between condition. For me, I'm going to just set a specific time. You can use a variable for sunrise along with an offset if you like. This will allow you to create a dusk to dawn lighting effect. Once everything is set up the way it should be, click on the blue add button at the bottom right of the box. Next, we're going to click on add a new statement under then. This time, we will click on add an action. In this new box that opens, select the switch you want to interact with. For this project, I am going to select my porch light switch and then click on add a task. A new box will open where we will set the action for the switch we selected. Here you will select from the blue drop down menu, device turn on, and then you will click on the blue add button. The final part of this piston is for turning the light off. To do this, click on add a new statement under the else. We will then add a new action like we just did for the porch light, but instead of turning on the device, we will select device turn off. That's it! Once all of your piston settings are configured, it's time to save your piston by clicking the save button at the top right hand corner of the screen. Saving the piston will bring you back to the status page for that piston. Here you can see any variables that could be interacting within your piston as well as the script itself. Okay, so now that the piston is done being created, it's time to do my favorite part of all of this, and that is to test out our home automation piston. As you can see from the main dashboard of WebCore, there is a timer running for the porch light piston indicating when it will run next. Clicking on the piston will bring us into the piston's main page. For the initial testing, you can enable logging to make sure everything works as expected. Just make sure to turn it off and clear logs to save on memory utilization. Once we hit the correct time, the piston should trigger which will turn the light switch on. Awesome, so it looks like everything works. So now we just need to go back, turn off logging and clear the logs. That's it for this video. If you liked what you saw, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. I would also love to hear about any upcoming home automation projects you have planned or have recently completed that you really enjoyed doing. So make sure to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to also subscribe to stay up to date with all the new tech and gadget videos that will be coming out real soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you.